Once, Swanage is a small town on the south coast of England. Its population is just over 10,000 people. It is an old town dating back to at least the 1st century AD. Historically, it is an important area for quarrying, mining perfect limestone, used as decorative building material. Swanage is a popular tourist destination, mainly due to the town's proximity to Durdledore, Lulworth Cove and other notable landmarks. Tourism is Swanage's main source of income and tourists love the beautiful beaks on the coast of Swanage. There are many hotels in the town, although a large number are shutting down every year due to the falling natural beauty of the area, which results in lower amounts of tourists. Many people still make a living through the beach, however, as small businesses hire out deck chairs, boats and pedalos. A few select band of people also offer pony and donkey rides along the beach, which are nowadays a rarity to come by. Swanage has more to offer to tourists than just the beaches, as the town was heavily influenced by the Victorians, and tourists offered and visit the pier and the railway station. Swanage has only one industry other than tourism, and that is the brickworks on the edge of town. If the flow of tourism stops, Swanage will have very little to fall back on. Swanage is a discordant coastline, with the rock layers perpendicular to the sea. The weaker rocks have been eroded away, leaving three bays in the area, Studland Bay, Swanage Bay and Dolston Bay. As Swanage attracts many tourists each year, the coastline needs to be managed, to be both safe for people to enjoy and preserve the natural beauty of the area. Currently, each bay is being managed differently. Studland Bay is protected from the trailing wind by old times rocks. However, there has been a substantial loss of beach near the southern end, and this loss appears to be increasing and accelerating. Many approaches have been tried, including beach replenishment and plants for groins have grown up. Marin grass has also been planted in the sand dunes behind the beach, and some fences put up to help stabilise the area. However, coastal erosion is still a serious threat, leaving some of the buildings at considerable risk, including car parking facilities, cafe and hotel. Swanage Beach currently has groins to help prevent the effects of longshore drift. These were first constructed in 1925, and some were replaced in 2005 at the same time as beach replenishment was being used. Behind Swanage Beach are many more buildings than behind Southern Bay, and so protecting the buildings while preserving the beauty and attraction of the area is extremely important. Dalston Bay has fewer buildings behind it and very little sand, therefore protecting it is not cost effective. It currently has some rock armour which we will leave as is. As we now know about the geology and industry and stuff like that, we can finally go to the actual saving bit of this uh, interesting town. Well, we can do some hard engineering or some soft engineering or do nothing at all. Firstly, let's look at the biggest and most main bay in this interesting place. So, Swanage Bay. Club named for something I've no idea about. It's the longest bridge of fall on the Swanage coastline. It clearly has groins in place so that the sand is not carried away. However, we believe this is not enough. We believe that this, oh yes, interesting town, must be protected. So we propose a sea wall to defend this interesting town. Which will lead us to great and the value to right here, it will only cost around £60,000, which is dirt cheap in today's money. Also, there are already some groins in place which will keep the sand from rifting away, so this cleverly named beach can stay for a long time. Next, another cleverly named bay called Studland Bay. Cleverly named after the settlement of Studland. All these guys are good with their names, aren't they? Anyway. This bay has the interesting hotel nearby, which accommodates a lot of tourists that visit this interesting town. Therefore, I say this, we would like to put a seawall to protect this town. Also, we would like to put groins in place which keeps the sand, which attracts the tourists to this interesting place. All in all, this costs around £7,000, which is dirty in today's money. Finally, Dersen Bay, also clearly named for its unusual resemblance to the nearby settlement. So clever, isn't it? Hey, there are many people, so that's not beachy to attract the tourists. Also, there's some rock on my area anyway, so we think that's not worth protecting when my cons are lying some more bro. Otherwise, we'll do nothing. So yeah, that's the coastal defences that we like to put in place in the interesting town of Swanage. Thank you.